Hi, my name is Dave and today I'm going to give you a tour of this beautiful 76mm Tasco 15TEA from the 1960s with superb uh, Royal Astro optics. A very nice desirable feature in a classic telescope. So let's take a look at this. Before we get started I wanted to show you these leveling screws on the pier legs. You can see that they look very, very fancy, and in fact, they work pretty well. All you have to do is use that to adjust it. However, you can also see that these are very much a uh, tripping hazard. So one of the first things I did when I actually used the scope was to take those off and replace them with some uh, half 13 bolts. Easy to do. As we pan up. I've already assembled the bottom portion and you can see the top here. Yeah, here we go. Follow the instructions. You're supposed to screw this on to this. This screws into that in a similar fashion, but a large tube with fine threads. It's very easy to get the thing cross-threaded. I think I have this, oh, I don't have it, it was threaded. It's hard to tell. Let's just take a good close look at it. Okay, let's try this one more time. Looks like it's cross threaded again. There we go, it feels a little easier. It's hard to tell the difference. When you get it right, it goes on pretty easily. Somebody at some point on the bottom part of this cross-threaded it so badly and they thought it was necessary to put some uh, re reinforcing bolts in there, which is not a bad idea especially if you're not going to take it apart all the time. Anyway, this is the kind of thing where I would definitely leave this assembled, unless you're going to ship it, maybe, or something. Now, you may or may not be able to see there's a screw hole there. There's a set screw that goes in there. Okay, so you put the set screw in, and that prevents the head from turning. Now it's designed to turn on a separate axis, so you can align it north, south, east, and west, and then you can lock it down here. So that'll adjust your um, for the for the azimuth setting of the scope. Put it here so that you guys can see what's going on. You can also, uh, probably even in the video, you can see that there's um, this is indicators here for your latitude. You know, I'm going to set mine at about 40. For visual use, you can be, that'll be fine. That's accurate enough. You don't have to get all fancy with this thing unless you're going to do astrophotography. Uh, which would be a little silly with this scope anyway, but um, so there we have that There's the right ascension motion declination motion now I have to get the scope Put it on here got everything locked down got this little accessory tray is very very handy uh, very nice to be able to put your eyepieces at a convenient location pull out the pull out the utility eyepiece, uh, um, pull out the proper eyepiece for whatever you're going to do. Put it in there. These are 965 eyepieces, of course. Oh, 
All right, here's the telescope. The optics in this telescope are superb. This is made by, uh, the lenses are made by Royal Astro, which is uh, quite famous in uh, collector circles, classic telescope collector circles, for being extremely high quality. And the telescope is perfect. The optics are absolutely perfect in this scope. Uh, it comes featuring a few nice little goodies, uh, caps, Okay, now I have the whole telescope assembled. Uh, one of the nice things about this scope is that you can use this in Altaz mode. Oh, I better put the counterweight on, hadn't I? The counterweight is very nice. It's got a, uh, a collet style holder here so that when you tighten the collet down, you can adjust the counterweight for whatever position you want. So if I wanted to use this telescope in Altaz mode, what I would do is um, shift the latitude like so. Come around here like so. Like that. So we use a portal prism. And now I've got a nice little Altaz telescope. I can even lock it down if I want to and use the slow motion controls, altitude and azimuth. So I can do it that way. Very nice. Uh, and it's very convenient to have a mount like this. This is a little bit like uh, the Zeiss mount in that respect. Of course, for most astronomical things, you're going to be doing it the other way. Let me do that. Okay, so here we are. We're now configured in equatorial mode. Got a nice little, uh, I don't know whether to call this a super finder, they call it a guide scope. Probably not a good enough telescope for a guide scope, it doesn't have quite enough focal length. But it is a, a nice super finder, and it's nice to have two finders, one on either side, because when you're on this side or that side of the, uh, of the mount, uh, it's nice because one will be in a convenient location. So, that's nice. Here we go with right ascension. Declination. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this lovely Tasco 15TEA telescope.